objective to determine the strength of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate from a given water sample reagents required n by 40 sodium carbonate hydrochloric acid distilled water water sample containing sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate mixture indicators required phenolphthalein and methyl orange theory titration is based upon the specific ph range for each indicator phenolphthalein indicator gives pink color in the ph range 8.2 to 10 while methyl orange gives red color in the ph range 4.4 to 3 it has been observed that presence of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate always provide a ph higher than 8.2 to the solution initially when standard hydrochloric acid is mixed the oh minus ions are first converted to water then carbonate ions are converted to bicarbonate ions these two steps takes place when the solution becomes initially and when solution becomes lesser than 8.2 and the pink color of phenolphthalein disappears at this point methyl orange is added as an indicator to find the complete neutralization the addition of further acid the bicarbonate ions are converted to carbon dioxide and water it means step 3 is completed when all bicarbonate ions are used up the ph of the solution becomes less than 4.4 instantaneously at this point methyl orange gives red color reactions involved first step sodium hydroxide is neutralized to sodium chloride and water followingly the hydrochloric acid neutralizes sodium carbonate to bicarbonate and sodium chloride these two steps takes place at the same time after these two steps sodium bicarbonate is neutralized by hydrochloric acid as sodium chloride water and carbon dioxide corresponding ionic reactions also shown here here the indicator phenolphthalein is used to visualize the end point of neutralization of oh minus ions and formation of bicarbonate ions this reaction is indicated by the disappearance of the color of phenolphthalein from pink to colorless the third ionic reaction bicarbonate ion becomes carbon dioxide is indicated by the color change of methyl orange yellow to red part 1 of this experiment standard sodium carbonate solution is used to standardize the given hydrochloric acid solution in the presence of methyl orange as indicator procedure before starting the experiment rinse the burette with the burette solution and fill the burette up to the zero mark standardization of given hydrochloric acid solution 10 ml of standard sodium carbonate with the help of pipette into the conical flask is taken in this one two drops of methyl orange is added run the acid solution from the burette into the conical flask drop wise with constant shaking of solution the end point is found when the light yellow color solution turns red the volume of acid used is noted the experiment is repeated 4 to 5 times till we get at least two concordant readings readings are noted in the form of table observation table for the standardization of hydrochloric acid using n by 40 sodium carbonate part 2 standard hydrochloric acid solution is used to 
standardize the given alkaline mixture in the presence of phenolphthalein and methyl orange as indicators titration of given alkaline water sample with hydrochloric acid solution 10 ml of given water sample is pipetted into the conical flask 2 3 drops of phenolphthalein indicator is added the solution turns pink then hydrochloric acid solution from the burette is added drop wise into the conical flask with constant shaking till the pink color disappears volume reading is noted from the burette after discolorization the one or two drops of methyl orange into the same solution is added the titration is carried out till the yellow colored solution turns pink again the volume v3 is noted and all this readings the volume v2 and v3 are noted down in the table and the experiment is repeated 2 to 3 times till concordant readings are obtained this is observation table v1 is the initial volume where v2 is the end point for the phenolphthalein v3 refers end point for methyl orange based on this readings v4 is calculated from v2 minus v1 this shows the neutralization of sodium hydroxide and off of sodium carbonate and v5 is calculated as v3 minus v2 this gives the neutralization of bicarbonate based on this readings the normality of given hydrochloric acid solution is calculated based on the formula n1v1 equal to n2v2 calculations to calculate the normality of sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate from a given water sample v4 refers to the volume of hydrochloric acid when whole of sodium hydroxide and half of carbonate is neutralized v5 the volume of hydrochloric acid when the rest half of carbonate is neutralized the volume of hydrochloride required for neutralization of sodium hydroxide is v4 minus v5 the volume of hydrochloric acid required for the neutralization of sodium carbonate is two times that of v5 based on this readings the strength of sodium hydroxide is calculated by multiplying the normality of sodium hydroxide with equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide in gram per liter the strength of sodium carbonate in given solution is calculated by multiplying normality of sodium carbonate with the equivalent weight of sodium carbonate in gram per liter precautions before starting the experiment the glass apparatus must be perfectly cleaned always rinse the burette and pipette with the solution which is to be taken in the remove the air gap if any from the burette before titration never forget to remove the funnel from the burette before noting the initial reading of the burette and ensure that no lost drop is hanging from the nozzle while transferring the solution to the flask do not blow out the last drop of the solution from the jet of the pipette always read lower meniscus for all transparent solutions and upper meniscus for the colored solutions 